I love this part because I'm playing a guy who's just uh, affectionate and I love children. I have a 10 year old and, and uh, Dorothy in this, I, I, I sort of run into her. She falls out of a twister at my doorstep. What I like about Dorothy a lot is that she's, she starts out very innocent, but the stretch is in finding the deeper qualities and what makes her tick and what makes her human and what makes her a real tangible person. How does it feel to play the straight man? He's not like your stereotypical kind of straight man. Look at me, I'm talking to you. Oh. Do not be rude. I wasn't being rude. No, you were. I didn't think it was rude. No, you were. It's sort of like the straight men, but from movies like Ghostbusters or, you know, Back to the Future, where, you know, they're not the straight man, really. They're a bit kind of got a lot of attitude and. And they've written some really nice lines, you know. You should be my special pet. You're not really my type. This movie just is fresh. Creatively, it's been like one of the best jobs I've had. Problem with Oz is all the witches. But again, you know, this movie has a little bit of everything. This has, uh, this has drama, this has suspense, this has fairy tales, and it has some comedy. But with the addition of language here and frickin' frack and the flashbacks. There's a, a tremendous amount of depth to this story. It's always an interesting to be on a movie where you have stuntmen and green screen and special effects, and it's not, you know, two people sitting in a room talking. This is about what I expected when I signed on for Lee Scott film.